and you know it's gonna last you a lot longer than those little t-shirts from, I don't know, H&M or Forever 21. You like put them in the dryer one time and the side seams kind of shift like sideways. It's, why? Why does that happen? Somebody explain that to me. It's the most annoying thing in the whole wide world. guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Grace of Goodness Gracious and I'm going to be trying on t-shirts for you today. But not just any t-shirts. I have ordered five different vintage inspired plain white t-shirts from five different ethical and sustainable companies and I'm going to put them to the curvy test. See how they sit on a more voluptuous body, if you will. I have Happy Earth. Ten Tree, Reformation, Everlane, and Cotton. And stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how you can uh, be entered into a contest to win one of the t-shirts that I couldn't return. <laughs> and without further ado, let's jump right in. So, I'm gonna be referencing my notes because I don't have time to memorize things. So if I look down, that's why. Okay, you guys, we're gonna start off with Everlane which came in recyclable packaging, which is nice. Bonus points. This is the Organic Cotton Crew in extra large. I did not order the same size in each company. I looked up their specific sizing chart and I ordered what I thought would be best for me, which didn't always work out as you will see. It was $26 Canadian. Your first order, you get 10% off and free shipping using the code. Just go there. I don't actually have a code. <laughs> Who am I? Nobody. The Organic Cotton Crew has a slim boyish cut. It is considered oversized. I use an app called Good On You and I'll link it down below and you can look up any clothing company you can imagine and they give them a rating out of five starting at we avoid and then not good enough and then it's a start and then good and then great so i will throw it up on the screen right about now and as you can see everlane actually got a not good enough rating regardless of their rating here's a few interesting facts about everlane as of October 2020, they have transitioned to 90% of all of their material containing plastic to be recycled plastic, which is polyester, so 90% recycled polyester. They also have a goal of transitioning to all certified organic cotton by the year 2023. One thing I always, always have to check with white t-shirts is to make sure that you can't see my tattoos through the fabric because it just makes the shirt look dirty. This shirt is fairly opaque, not quite enough for my liking, but it's pretty close. I also love this neckline. It is the perfect size. It is so tight and I wish all of the t-shirts in my closet had this neckline. Next up, we have cotton, that is K-O-T-N. Took me a while to figure out what that actually spelt. Also in a nice recyclable package. As you can see by my reaction, this is the softest shirt I have ever put on my body. This is the Woman's Essential Crew in the size extra extra large. It was $35 plus $8 shipping. Altogether, it came to $48.59 Canadian. This t-shirt is 100% Egyptian cotton. It is a mid-weight brushed jersey. Let's check good on you, shall we? Cotton is a B-certified corporation, which is a kind of business that balances purpose and profit. 
They are legally required to consider the impact of their decisions on their workers, customers, suppliers, community, and environment. They do direct trade, which means cutting out the middleman and buying straight from the farmers, which provides better wages, better practices, and transparency into how their partners conduct their business. A portion of all of their earnings goes to providing the children of the farming communities with safe and convenient education. This is the most opaque t-shirt that I ordered. I can't see my tattoos through it at all. And it is so soft, you guys. 100% organic Egyptian cotton. Next up, we have Ten Tree. This is the Tree Blend Classic t-shirt in the size extra large. It was $40 plus $10.75 shipping for a grand total of $57.35 tax included, Canadian, blah, 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 all that. This is described as a lightweight, relaxed fit crew neck t-shirt. It is 45% recycled polyester, 25% organic cotton, and 30% tensile. Now, if you're wondering what tensile is, go to their website. They have a short 45 second video about what tensile is and actually about all of the materials that they use. And it's actually really, really neat. For every purchase, they plant 10 trees, hence the name, 10 tree. As of March 3rd, when I went on their website to check all of this, they had planted 53,388,058 trees. I just spat everywhere. I'm so sorry. Tentry works with the environmental group called GreenStep to analyze their current and upcoming production lines to identify their impact. Their partner factories are audited regularly to ensure compliance with the 10 Trees Code of Conduct and international labor standards. This shirt was so comfortable and so soft, but it was so sheer. However, I did really like this ribbed collar. That was nice. Next, we have Happy Earth. Happy Earth doesn't actually make plain white tees, but I really wanted to try them out. So I ordered a white t-shirt with a, a pretty design on it, you'll see. This shirt is the Juniper Woman's Oversized Tee in size large. It was $28 US plus $10.21 shipping. Altogether, it came to $38.21 US I gotta check my credit card statement to see what that is Canadian. Now, with your purchase, you get a button that says how many pounds of trash they were able to clean up with this purchase and a sticker. Happy Earth is also a B certified corporation. Happy Earth uses organic farming, 100% vegan materials, and fair trade practices. With every product purchase, they plant 15 trees and clean up one pound of trash. 
As of October 3rd, when I checked this, they had cleaned up 3,127,509 pounds of trash. They plant trees with the organization called Trees for the Future. They support projects that help communities transition to better practices for them and the planet. And they provide highly efficient cookware for Ugandans, which would otherwise be unattainable. This t-shirt is made from 100% certified organic cotton, and it is quite opaque, which is lovely. However, the neckline is just so loose. It's not my cup of tea, but that's just personal preference. That does sound nice. Yeah. Last up is Reformation. This is the perfect vintage tea in the size extra large. It was $40 plus tax Canadian. There's no shipping fee regardless of how much you spend, which is amazing. However, I tried to return it and they wanted to deduct $30 for the international shipping, which is why we're gonna do a giveaway instead. This shirt is 100% organic cotton. It's not white. It's actually an ivory color. It's ivory. I mean, that's even what it's labeled as, is ivory. So hi, I should have known that. <laughs> Reformation actually built one of their own factories in Los Angeles, and the rest are sustainable partner factories around the world. They work with groups such as Fair Labor Association conducting on-site audits, and they are committed to ensuring workers have a voice in their organization. This shirt is really soft, and it's fairly opaque, almost opaque enough for my liking. The collar could be a little thicker, in my opinion. And it's almost a little bit too big, but it can always be shrunk. Shrunk? That's a weird word. Alright you guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and don't forget, if you want a chance to win the Reformation t-shirt, make sure you're subscribed, give me a like, and comment down below and just say hello. That rhymed. And you'll be entered into a chance to win the t-shirt that cost money to return. Thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!